Hey guys, uh, on this video, we're looking at VEX25 index on the daily chart. And then what I'll do is that I'll do a top-down analysis for this uh, instrument so that we can understand where it's going, so that we can take trades. And then if you want the best broker to use or trade volatility uh, indexes, you can just use the link in the description below. So what I'll do is that I'll draw the overall market structure. As you can see, we have this overall nice descending channel, just like this. Let me make sure that I'm using like the right uh, lines. So yeah, I think this is the right one. Let's see. Okay, so this is the right uh, angle. And then we have this descending channel within here. Just like this. So descending channel. So also we have this push to the upside and then I think it will reach like this area here or we can just push to the upside up until we tag this point here and then that is when we look for selling opportunities or buying opportunities from there. So that is how I'm looking at uh, VEX index on the daily chart and then this is the ascending channel that we have on this area. And then what I'm seeing is that we have this first touch here, the second touch here, then we can expect a third touch around this point. And then we are following this push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside. This is the larger corrective move to clearly push to the downside, create the third touch before we can push back to the upside. So that is how I'm seeing it on the daily chart. And then we can have like a high area of which is here. And then we can have that 90% rule. So this is what we currently have at the moment. And then on the four hour, that is where we're going to get like into the nitty gritty details for this uh, nice setup. So I'll just make sure that I'm key term for the touches. Always make sure that you're key term for the touches. So in this instance, we are still looking for buying opportunities up until we reach a area whereby it's valuable to us. So this is the area that is valuable just because we have a double top formation at the top of the structure, just like this. So this is a valuable area for us to look for selling opportunities. And then as we are still in this type of formation, we can still look for uh, buying opportunities up until we reach the third touch or the double top formation that I was talking about recently. And then what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just throwing out like the patterns that we have within this area here. So at the moment, we are in this scenario here, whereby we have created some type of an ascending channel, like this way here. And then we can have another one running in this type of fashion. So this is the area that we have. So I'll just remove this one here. So this is the formation that we have. So initially, we are looking for buying opportunities from here to here or initially reaching the third touch here just because we have the first touch, second touch, as I said, and then the third touch here. So that is how I'm seeing it on the four hour. And then remember I said we are doing a top-down analysis. So we are moving from a higher time frame to a lower time frame. So this is the area on the hour chart. So this is what we have on the hour chart. And then on the hour for us to look for those buying opportunities, we have to wait and see if we will react nicely from this zone here, just because we have this first touch, second touch, and third touch. So initially what we are looking for is this type of candlestick formation around here, around this point here. So this is the candlestick formation that we are looking for around here for us to look for those buying opportunities. When the candle closes, like this one here, we have the red candle and then the green candle. After the green candle closes, then that is when we look for the buy. The stop loss is just below, and then we are targeting the highs. Same as this scenario here, and then we are looking we are looking for it on this area here. So this is the area that we are looking forward to seeing. And then we also have a descending channel within here, of which we are staking our confluences in our favor so that we can take a nice trade from here. And then we can have an overall 90% also for this descending channel around this area here. And then what we are going to wait for is that retracement candlestick pattern. And then we look for the buy. This is a risk entry. And then we target this one for 5%. We target the outer structure for 8%. Knowing that our overall target is at the top of the structure 
of which is this one here for 13 percent and then if the trade moves to the upside then we know that we are looking for this as our overall target for 20 percent guys and then if you are into uh risking low you can just wait for this type of formation just like this a clear push to the upside and then you get the six to eight hour tight flag and then you can just take the entry from this point here as your buy just like this and then your stop loss is just below your targeting here and here and the outer structures so we are just going to switch to the m15 time frame and see if we can get like some type of an early entry or something just because each and every time frame you get like early entries and all of those good stuff so we have this nice descending channel here and then as you can see it's still trying to form up something and then we have this low point here i think we can create some type of a mini double bottom and then we push to the upside and then this is the tie flag and then we look forward to getting like those continuations to the upside and then initially we can use like the aft of which we can refine on the five minute time frame just because the five minute time frame is also useful for us to take like uh, some early entries so on the five minute uh, we get like the same things we get like your tight flags your larger flags but it is for the early entry so as you can see here we can have like that mini double top double bottom formation and then we have this area here as a decent in channel just like this make sure that i'm catering for the structures nicely so this is the angle that we are looking forward to seeing so this is the angle so we can get like that double bottom on the five minute and then we push to the upside we create the tie flag from this point here then that is when we can look for those buying opportunities up until this point here as i said on the highest time frame that we were looking at so that is it for today's video and then i'll see you on another one don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell and share the video with your loved ones and then i'll see you on another video